ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to another edition of Wednesday Night Fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside famed corner man and broadcast analyst Teddy Atlas. And welcome to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for a much anticipated main event. Six rounds of middleweight action. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the and week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. One, scheduled for six. Golden's resume reads with a lot of knockout wins highlighted upon it. Is it the level of competition he's facing, or is he that good of a puncher? You know, that's the right question, Joe. It's a combination of both. He's, you know, he hasn't exactly been in there with Godzilla, but he has power. He gets to you, he gets rid of you. Landing two jab by Golden. Teddy, what advice did you consistently give to a fast fighter in a situation like this, a speed fighter, when he was fighting a guy with low stamina? Put yourself in a position where you can use that speed, where you can control things, the dimensions you want. Stay on the outside. Be able to use that ring. Make the guy walk to you. Make the guy burn up. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Golden's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, and here comes the first challenge of his night. Down he goes. able to get up. Teddy, I question though if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. You could tell that he was nearly out of gas, so now he's taking a little bit of a break. He's tying up. Hey, look, airplanes have to land. They don't keep flying. They land so they can get refueled. He's getting refueled here a little bit, but his opponent, he gave him a landing strip. He should not have. He should have made him crash into the mountains. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown, and Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored. Typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out there? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. You need to throw more punches. That will keep him away. Jab. Jab and throw. Throw to the body, then to the head. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Adams' quarterman did a really good job, after a round in which their fighter was knocked down, of just being calm and cool. The way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. They just showed it. A clean, crisp right hand by Golden. Golden's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. He has his target, he lands a straight right. Golden's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Good defensive skill. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. There it is! He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five. 
Adam still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Way to block there. As basic as can be. Solid. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's over. This fight is over. Golden's hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout. He's probably going to mark that down as one of the highlights of his career. From out of nowhere, one single knockout punch. Well, it's one of those punches that actually can be.